Okay. Hi guys. Is it working? Okay, so hi guys, I'm Pia from Cube Gallery and I'll be taking over this Instagram for the next half hour. Um, but I won't be alone, <laughs> yay. Um, as you may have read, um, I'll be joined by French contemporary artist Pierre-Marie Brisson, who is all the way in France at his studio. So, he'll be joining us shortly, and we're all excited to see a studio, right? So, don't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, first, let me tell you about Cube Gallery um, for those who are not familiar with us. Um, we are a contemporary art space um, here in Cebu City, Philippines. So that's actually where I am right now. I'm in Cebu City. So that's our physical space and we also have our online platform with Artsy. Uh, you can check us out on artsy.net slash cube gallery. Okay, so okay. <laughs> hi to my friends who are watching right now. Um, so anyway, um, we've been asked what it's been like for a gallery when the rest of the city um, shelters in, you know? So, well, um, we do what we can <laughs> to adjust working from home, which I admit has its perks, um, but not having our physical space right now um, changes a lot of things for us, you know? Um, at the beginning of the ECQ, which stands for Enhanced Community Quarantine, um, that is what we call it here in our country. Um, we didn't want to close our physical space right away, um, but we had no choice, you know. And at the same time, we also didn't want to compromise the health of our staff and our clients. And, you know, I think towards the beginning, uh, no one really knew how long it would take. Um, we knew the situation was already bad, but, you know. You know, I've also been asked, what is one thing that I enjoy while sheltering in place? Um, well, as a gallerist, I do enjoy checking in on the artists that we are working with. Um, we've always done this, but uh, there's something different right now when everybody's just home and not moving around so much. Um, we get to really talk and ask what it's been like for them. You know, um, you'd think that all the artists were built for a lockdown because they'd just be in their studios painting the whole time. Um, but you know, not really, not for everyone. Uh, here in the Philippines, um, some of the artists um, that I've talked to, um, they unfortunately, they ran out of materials. Um, uh, number one, due to logistic reasons because the ECQ happened so fast. Uh, number two, also due to economic reasons. You know, it's expensive to stock up on materials and uh, and not sell anything for you know at least three months you know and there are also some artists that have shifted you know to other mediums based on what's available um, in their studios so um, it was nice to be able to talk to them and um, check in and what's happening and so that we don't want another um, lockdown to happen but at least uh, we, we already know okay you know next time we should prepare more materials and you know do this and that okay so um, anyway in terms of exhibitions uh, we didn't cancel anything we just simply rescheduled um, especially those exhibitions uh, which can't be done online um, last April we were supposed to have a camping trip part 2 exhibition um, with Rin Barrera, um, Terence, and Mr. S. Uh, this uh, is created by JT Gonzalez. Um, last year's camping trip was very well received and uh, people have been asking us um, for the new schedule. Um, but as of today, you know, we, we, we don't know when it is deemed safe for us to open again. But as soon as we know, <laughs> We will, of course, keep you guys posted, okay? Um, let me...
let me talk about our online shows right now. So, we have ongoing ones as well. Uh, we have a show by Shaw Montera, Pierre Marie Bresson, Jose Marie Picornel, Boy Kiamco, and we also have um, upcoming online shows with Sam Penaso and also Mark Massa. And then when our physical space opens again, you know, we're looking forward to our exhibitions with like John Sande, um, Lita Neo, Kuda King, <laughs> High Golds again, um, Chris Bahade, Antonio Pastoriza, we have the Sword Monsters, we have Gigi Ocampo, as well as, you know, some other group shows. Um, so it's all still happening, guys. Um, let's just stay positive that we'll all get through this, you know, cataclysmic situation. So, although one thing that I'd have to point out, um, I know that artist receptions and um, exhibition openings, which we all love, you know, I love, the, <laughs> I, I love artist receptions, um, it won't be the same anymore, well, at least for a while, you know. Um, for the other countries that have already opened, um, some galleries are still doing artist receptions, but instead of like a 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. gathering for everyone, uh, it's spread out throughout the day. And, you know, guests can RSVP to a time slot in order to maintain social distancing. Well, um, we're actually open to doing this and in, you know, we're open, we will follow guidelines, whatever works best while keeping everyone safe, you know, we will explore it. Uh, what else? <laughs> so, well, another thing that we as a gallery were looking forward to um, was joining art fairs, you know? We were supposed to join an art fair in Manila, and we were also supposed to have our own pop-up show in France a few months from now. Uh, but, you know, we know that international travel will be muted, so it's just a wait and see for now. Although, as I've said, um, we don't really allow that to dampen our spirits, you know. It's just a matter of, um, it's just a matter of rescheduling, okay? So speaking of France, um, <laughs> the time has come for us to call Pierre Marie so that he can give us a virtual tour of his studio. Um, actually, our director for Cube, Maurice, is with him right now and she will be the filmmaker <laughs> for this studio tour. So now I'm gonna call her. Okay. There. Can you hear me? Yes, hello everybody. Welcome to my studio. <laughs> Hi, Carmery. Okay. Hi. Okay, there. <laughs> Hi. Hi I know it's I know it's twelve noon there in France right now, and yes. uh, right now it's overcast. But usually, the lighting is very good at this time of the day, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, his studio is in Egmont, um, in in France. Um, this is not far away from Arles. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah, our last where you know, yeah, where artists like Van Gogh and Gauguin painted because of the special Mediterranean light, <laughs> correct? <laughs> okay, so I will stop talking and allow <laughs> give us a tour of your studio. Yes. Okay. In front of PC, like here, it's a place uh, to receive uh, people, uh, gallery. Mm -hmm. And we uh, yeah, have like a uh, few chairs, a perfect example, like a painting I do uh, in a county. So, now okay, and you have fresh flowers, and the couch looks inviting, and the painting. <laughs> But I want to say uh, something, like, uh, I have a okay. one, uh, I, I like cooking, and uh, okay. I, I propose to just uh, do like a little comparison with painting and cooking, 
suppose. Uh -huh. so, you know, it's a, the same sometimes uh, imagination. This is like uh, you, you get uh, some herbs, like this, like mango, you get mm -hmm. some lime, okay, you put some garlic, you put some onion, like lemon, like uh -huh. tomato, or, uh, salt, pepper, if you want. Uh, and the idea is with uh, this mix is to have one uh, result uh, to have uh, to go into the test you like. And, uh, okay. Or going like you like uh, by yourself personally, and after that you, you try to share with people, and people say like mm, like like it too, and you. That's what you <laughs> and the painting is really the same. It's like a. Uh, you do painting, uh, this is like a, a mix, like material, different material, and you, 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 you prepare it slowly, it's like a, mm -hmm. with the herbs, and after it's like, you start to cook, maybe you put in a oven, but the reason is to have something, have a, a Korean uh, structure for you. Like, uh, like this canvas representing uh, the, the fish, the fish on the water, and this is the right idea. And this from the quarantine too. Oh, you did that during the quarantine? Pardon me. It's a uh, quarantine it's is very um, it's uh, it, it's very special. But if uh, like uh, artist uh, uh, listen this understand very well because naturally a lot of artists as do the quarantine for working. Mm -hmm. so yeah. To be alone, you need to be by yourself, uh, to uh, to have uh, to uh, uh, going to your interior nation and uh, uh, you don't see any one on this day you It's like quarantine, it's natural for artists to do quarantine sometimes. But this mm -hmm. one is very really long, of course, like two months. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, most, <clears throat> the most important thing is uh, it's, uh, like more miss family and a friend. And the uh, uh, social life, like uh, meet people in a cafe, in a restaurant, everything in home, and uh, <clears throat> and, uh to have the social relation, it's important. But mm -hmm. now it's finished. But this quarantine going so fast for me. Uh, I, I start to become a little bit anxious. I start to say, oh my God, I'm going to be depressed. And I feel like I'm uh, going to be sad, of course. And sometimes like, oh, thank yeah. you. And uh, <clears throat> I had uh, the so when I do I immediately said, okay, I go something to working and working and working. And, uh, and after that, like, I say, oh, like uh, the date, oh, the week's it finished. Oh, now you are in, a, in, a, in April. Oh, now you are in May. My God, so fast. I don't know why. So yeah. Uh, long for the distance, social with a friend, but uh, not so long. Uh, of course, I'm privileged because I like what I do, and uh, uh, I have a large space. I have the material to to and I'm uh, very lucky for that. So this is mm -hmm. like, uh, I want to say hello, especially to Alfred in Philippines, to inspiration for uh, the landscape from uh, from the, the beautiful Philippines. This is a, this uh, painting. Uh, uh, that, that artwork, it's inspired by the Philippines? Yeah. Did I get that right? Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. So, it's not from the season, before counting, but it, this painting makes me happy because I start to miss the Filipino people. Um, yeah, uh, it's been, you've been away for a few months now. This is, uh, three, yes, it is, uh, it's long, and, uh, 
the, the other thing is guaranteed is that you can travel. This is yeah. I say, oh, I guess now it's fresh again that you have a distance few kilometers by car. You can go like a mm -hmm. there and this is you need to respect what the, the just moving uh, the area. Yes, please show us more <laughs> of your studio. And this is um, one, this is from Caroline. Okay, so you, yeah, so that's a new painting you've done while in quarantine. Is that for your upcoming show? Because I understand you have um, upcoming shows in the U.S., in Korea, an art fair in the Philippines, an uh, exhibit at the Met. Yes, but the, pro the problem with this car, it's a real uh, exhibition going to the event. On the mm -hmm. yeah. I have a picture in the castle now, but now it's, uh, it's maybe in November, next November. Um, I want to show normally, but this may be too now the, in New York, September, October. And um, mm -hmm. I continue to work it, but I don't know where exactly now the painting going. But I will show in Paris in October. But it's going to stay like now completely. So, on the. Mm -hmm. Can you show us some more? Yes, yes. <laughs> one, like, uh, it's the same idea uh, like uh, I do, like cooking. You have, to be you have, a, you have a space on the, the, the brand going around the, the lady, like a, going to like a crazy, like a dancing movement, or uh, like, uh, like a gallop with a brand on the, the lady, happy to like a, this uh, strange garden. Okay, oh, we actually have a question here. Um, yes. Are you? Can I read the question to you? Yes. So, um, uh, Mia is asking, what inspires you to keep on working? Okay. What inspires you to keep inspires on working? Inspiration to keep on working. Uh, inspiration. It's a, you know, if you are with somebody, you love her. <laughs> this is uh, the most, most, most important yeah, to, to, to I see. Work. So the filmmaker is your inspiration. So, um, <laughs> do you have another question? Okay. Uh, we also have another question from Golda. She's asking, what is the medium for that artwork that you just showed to, uh, to us? Medium, like, uh, uh, the material. Yeah, the medium. Yeah, the materials that you use. No, what is the medium? Uh, what's the medium? Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry for every, with everybody. My English is not, not, not perfect. So yes, medium. I use uh, different medium, but uh, I would, uh, I use uh, acrylic, painting uh, acrylic. Um, I love working with paper. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, paper, it's a easy, it's a easy surface to to manipulate, transforming, and uh, to inventing. This is all for the reason for this question. Yeah, perfect example of what you can do with paper. Yeah, I remember that. And, uh, Uh, 
on the this uh, special dancing that way the one portrait. You can see you have one portrait. Yeah. What is your uh, f favorite? Um, we have a question here. Uh, what is your favorite brand of paper? Or, you know, do you have a particular brand that oh, you like uh, to use? We like to be French because you have the, with the fabric paper. This is, you, have, uh, you, you know, the most uh, popular fabric is the name is Arch paper. And um, this is quality paper. And uh, to, to make paper, you need a uh, lot of water. To mix like mm -hmm. uh, like uh, you mix that uh, for the day and uh, and uh, the, the the quality water is important. You need to be the with no acid. So the more you have pure water, the more you have good paper. That's it. Oh, okay. okay. And if you want, I share you one other one. Yeah, show us some more. That it's like a one day counter. You said so you also did that during the quarantine? you know yes yeah okay so um i i think i think we're good already unless any uh, someone has a question oh we have one more question if it's all right with you um what is your favorite color or pigment to use favorite color uh what is your favorite color is it blue <laughs> i'm just taking a guess but my favorite, I think, is blue. Mm. If I say, oh my god, I, I, need to, I need to use one other color sometimes. It's nice to use other color, but the blue, the blue, and the blue stay all, all the time in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for the blue from the like to be uh, the blue from the sky, because uh, if the yes. sky is happy. I think it's a, it's a blue, it's a, it's a happy color. It's very happy. Yeah, from yeah, from the sea, the sky, a lot of yeah, a lot of things are blue. And I noticed, yeah, a lot of your artworks have blue, and some also have red, which is powerful. <laughs> yeah. So what's going on? <laughs> Everybody, bye bye. Okay, so thank you very much, Fair Marie. Thank you, Marie, the filmmaker. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, uh, come again. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, so, um, say, yeah. I say salamat. <laughs> Sal salamat also. Um, so this wraps up our Instagram takeover. Um, uh, thank you to Art Plus for giving us this uh, opportunity. Um, thank you to Dagny, to Cheska, Morris, and everyone there. Um, for those who are not familiar, um, Pierre Marie was in the Art Plus issue. Um, I believe it's issue number fifty-six, and you can you can go to the Art Plus website to download uh, to download the issue. Um, 
lastly, thank you everyone for watching. Um, thanks to all our friends, uh, even our friends in New York. I know it's uh, 6 in the morning there. And we hope you enjoyed this little tour of the studio. So thank you and bye-bye.